Well, the Pleasant Grove neighborhood is warning other families to be on the lookout this weekend for car thieves. Their neighborhood was hit hard. New specialist Lad Egan joins to explain what happened. And Lad, you said at five, you've got some tips to help us avoid this problem. Yeah, police say you've got to secure the trailer, secure your off-road vehicles. And the neighborhood saying this all happened within about 20 minutes of each other early Sunday morning. They've printed up this flyer trying to raise awareness. In all, three homes were targeted, resulting in the loss of two vehicles, two trailers, and two off-road vehicles. I'm devastated. I'm totally devastated. Surveillance video from the Potter's home in Pleasant Grove showing a brand new Can-Am and trailer being stolen in the middle of the night. My son bought it the Saturday before, so he's had it one week. The $40,000 purchase hadn't been added to their insurance yet, and the family is now warning others. I would say really secure it. Put vehicles around it, floodlights, uh... Get a tracker and put it on it. We feel violated. Around the corner, a Tahoe SUV stolen from another house and nearby a Ford F-350 hot wired, taking along with it the attached trailer and Can-Am. The victims say the thieves were incredibly quick. I want people to know that they're out there, that they're good, and try to protect yourself. Do what you can to protect yourself because we're, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're out um, and we're not gonna get our car back. We see these quite often. Pleasant Grove police detectives say these are crimes of opportunity. So we'll have people that'll come into town. Um, a lot of times at night, they'll drive through neighborhoods, they'll look, and if they see something that looks inviting, then they'll, they'll take it. Unfortunately, police say with the off-road vehicles, it's unlikely that they'll be recovered. You're just planning on using it on your own property. You, you're never gonna register that vehicle and nobody's ever gonna know. Yeah, some unfortunate news for the victims here. And police say to keep the trailer safe, to use wheel locks or chain up the tires and to also use a trailer hitch lock. But in one of these uh, situations, uh, the side-by-side uh, -side wasn't even on a trailer. It was behind the trailer, and they still used a tow rope and, and simply pulled it away. So, Ashley, anyone with information here urged to call Pleasant Grove Police and also be on the lookout this weekend. Yeah, you really feel for those families, and hopefully they can get more answers on where their stuff has gone. Lad, thank you. Yeah.